Oracle of Delphi was the most famous oracle in the ancient Greek world and dates back to around 1400 BC. It was built around a sacred spring that was thought to be the center of the Greek world. People would come from all over Greece and other parts of the world to get insight into the future from the Pythia, the priestess of the god Apollo. This priestess was originally called Pytho, which was the original name of Delphi, but later became called the Pythia. As legend goes, the oracle originally belonged to Mother Earth, Gia, but was later either given to or stolen by Apollo. It was believed that the Pythia would communicate directly with Apollo, which was how she got her predictions, advice, and sanctions to give to those who consulted her. These consultations could range from when a farmer should plant his crops to when a war would be declared. The consultations were usually restricted to the seventh day of the Delphic month, which was the seventh day of any given month, because it was said to be Apollo's birthday. These consultations were originally not allowed during the three winter months when Apollo was visiting the Hyperboreans in the north. However, this later changed when the god Dionysus took Apollo's place at Delphi while he was away. For a consultation, it was essential to have sponsors, palenos, which was a type of ritual cake, and a sacrificial beast. The Pythia and her consultants would bathe in the Castalian Spring. Then, the Pythia would drink from the sacred spring Casotis, then enter the temple. She would go into the basement, mount a sacred tripod, and chew leaves of the laurel, which was Apollo's sacred tree. The Pythia would go into an ecstatic state and was believed to channel Apollo. While this was happening, she would speak words, often nonsensically, which would be interpreted and written down by the priests with her. The Oracle of Delphi came to an end in the 4th century AD, when Roman Emperor Theodosius I instituted laws to end pagan activities. 